What a shot. Sublime from Zap Crawley. First boundary. Slightly over pitch from Kimar Roach, looking potentially for a little bit of swing. Well controlled, not well timed. Dribbles away to the boundary. Alex Lees, his first boundary of the morning. With Jaden Seals, but I think you're right. I think Jaden Seals especially is just trying a little bit too hard. Bad little bit of footwork there, but just kicked it onto the boundary. I don't think he's really sure. Got him. So often Carl Mears does it. He's a handy bowler and a wicket taker. First one down. This has been a gift. Cross seam delivery. It might just have stood up a touch in the surface, but it's a loose drive from Zach Crawley. Skipper Brathwaite in exactly the right place. Authority in that one from Lees. 29 for one. And he's got another. Carl Mayer strikes for the second time, and this time it is none other than England's captain, Joe Root. Very, very good delivery from Carl Mayer. Scramble seam again. Just took the outside edge of the informed Joe Root. And jubilation once again for Kyle Mayers and the West Indies team. In the air. He's going to run all the way down to the boundary for four. Oh, that's straight. Oh, that's gone. Dan Lawrence hasn't hit this, he's in big trouble. Ball tracking coming up, Joel. Pitching outside off, impact in line, wickets hitting. Mark, I'm ready to go back on field to Joe. Joe, you can stay with your original out decision, you're on screen signal. Joel now. Wilson raises the finger for the second time. Might be the final ball before lunch. Stoutly defended by Alex Lees, who's uh, Looks solid at the top of the order for England. He's played one or two pleasing strokes. More importantly, has made it all the way through to the lunch break. It's been West Indies session for short. Misfortune for the bowler, fortune for Alex Lees. Could have ricocheted into the stumps. We've seen this a few times now. Alex Lees pushing away from his body. Got him. Use of the short ball by Alzari Joseph. Proves to be the end of Stokes. This one had a bit more venom in it. Ben Stokes just toe of the bat. Alzari Joseph, nice catch. This time, no question about it. He's been working away at angling in and then straightening. Relentless this morning. Two or three times, Alex Lees has left the ball very close to that off stump. Is that another one? Yes, it's all falling down and falling in favor of the West Indies here after lunch, as well as before Biesto goes. 145 kilometer, nip to, nips back, cuts him in two. 142 kilometers, nips away, manages to get the outside edge. Joshua De Silva coming forward, takes a good catch. Don't give him that. Walks lives for that drive. Mexi naturally, naturally makes wit for himself. That's nicely clipped away. And it's going to be four runs as well, four very, very welcome runs. Clean them up through and through. Jaden Seals just jumped back in. Breaches the defences of Ben Fawkes and another wicket for the West Indies. And this is a lovely piece of bowling, though. Just comes back a little bit, just clips the top of the middle stump. It's enough to beat that slightly tentative defence. 
Well, that one has gone over the top, so they brought the third man into the ring. Uh, that was for Wokes that he was placed down there, but now it's Overton who is given that a bit of up and over. Nicely played. Chris Wokes has pinged a couple through the covers, one off front foot, another off back. Gone, bold all over the place. You just can't keep him out of the game, can you? That one came back a long way. Breach the defense of Overton. Oh, shot. Chris Wokes given a bit of width again. Unerringly finds the extra cover fence. Jack Leach peels off a beauty through extra cover. Brings up the hundred. Well, it's just offline again here, Jason. It's a slump of the shoulders actually after he delivered it. Look of wonder. It's a drop catch. So that's the, the lower, flatter, wider, quicker one to finish. And uh, England will go to T now. 114 for eight after 53 overs. So the over eight is down from West Indies. But West Indies will be less concerned about that than they are happy to have taken those wickets again. Five in the session. Clean them up. Jaden seals immediately after T. He really has deserved this, Jaden seals. Throughout this series, he's bowled beautifully, the young man. He really has come of age. That's a lovely shot. That is a top shot. Just a little saunter down the pitch after he'd struck it from Jack Leach. Oh, he's put it down, he's put it down at full stretch. John Campbell, who feels in the slips, he feels in the covers, feels anywhere, to be honest, but he was at full stretch here. Oh. Head, head, sorry, sorry, sorry! 50 partnership comes up for the 10th wicket between Leach and Mahmood. It's been a, a good restoration of the shambles that existed before. Nobody really wants to chase it. Seals finally gets through the gears. It's going to be four more welcome runs to England. Craig Brathwaite, anguish, cry, deserves to as well because that's a poor ball down leg side. Only one fielder behind square. Oh, she's what a well ball boy. Yeah, Joshua De Silva, I think he had a point well talking about himself not long ago. It has been a long series for him. Ball goes straight through and misses everything. Squirts that away, might be four. Is four. More runs continue to flow. England creep towards 200. Who would have thought from 114 for nine? Jack Leach continues to enjoy himself. More frustration for the West Indies. Absolutely nailed that. What a magnificent shot, and it brings up the 200 for England. Appreciated by the crowd that's here. Down the track he goes, and he has thumped it through mid on. There's your answer, Curtly Ambrose. That was expected. 
knocked him over. Would you believe it? Jermaine Blackwood does give his fast bowlers the gift of not having to go through warm-ups in the morning. For Saki Mahmood, the agony of finishing one short of what would have been a maiden 50 in Red Bull cricket, any Red Bull cricket, let alone a test match. England have been bowled out for 204. West Indies look uh, relieved, but a little bedraggled as they head to the dressing room. Saqib can barely believe it. How did I not make it to 50? But because of him and Jack Leach, England have a foothold in this test match. They certainly played well, Leach and Mahmood. It was the longish third session for the West Indies. No fault of their bowlers, they really tried hard and to dismiss England just at the brink of close of play is a good sign for the bowlers who won't have to come back tomorrow and put the boots on, so that's a good sign for them.